Hey guys, welcome back to Skill Software. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own coffee t shirt design using ChatGPT and Canva. And with that combination, you can create your design fast and easy and you can sell it on Etsy. So to begin with, I want you to go to ChatGPT and now head over to Tools, Create Image. Now I want you to add on photos with a coffee. As you can see, I have an example photo of a coffee. Awesome. Now I want you to upload it in ChatGPT. And what you can do is ask ChatGPT to create me illustration style coffee design, remove the background, but keep the coffee and the hands. And now you want to give context to ChatGPT on the image references just to reduce any mistakes made. So what you can do is type down image reference coffee to coffee is being held. And there you go. Hit enter and let's wait for the result. So again, create me an illustration style coffee design. Remove the background, but keep the coffee and the hands. The image reference is to coffee is being held up. Actually, it's R being held up. My bad. Spelling error, but yeah, it does not matter because ChatGPT is an AI. All right, it is done. And would you look at that? Wow, amazing. That is so cool. Look at that. Okay. However, I've actually missed one prompt because now the background is removed. I forgot to mention in PNG or transparent because ChatGPT thinks that I need the background to be removed, like actually removed and place a white background. So what you can do is can you turn it into a PNG transparent background or to be clear you can just ask ChatGPT to remove the white background you know oh wow ChatGPT gave me this I thought it's gonna regenerate and it did not regenerate for me look at that <laughs> all right that's another technique you can actually ask ChatGPT to remove the background however I am using the free version of ChatGPT and it is limited image generation right so what you can do, there's an alternative way besides using Canva background remover, which is also paid. You can just open up your image on your PC, head over to edit, click on that, and you can remove the background right here. Once you click on that, you can see background detected, click remove, and there you go. You have your PNG version of your coffee illustrated style. All right, awesome. Now save option, it has to be save as copy. All right, that seems pretty good. Next, what you can do is head over to Canva. Hit on create because we need a canvas. Head over to custom size. And here I want to put on a one to one ratio canvas size. I'm going to go with 1080 by 1080 pixels. Create new design. Awesome. Now I'm going to rename this coffee t-shirt design. All right. Once I rename that, now I'm going to upload my picture. So now you can adjust them to your liking. All right. So here we can add some text. So let me just add a text box right here. Let's rename it as coffee buddies. All right. So now head on to effects and you can choose curve to curve your text just like that. And you can also adjust the amount of curvature. So let's say I'm going to go with that. All right. Next, I'm going to change the font. Let's choose something that is much more natural. So what I like to do is head over to display under the display category here. There's a lot of styles that you can choose from. All right, I'm going to choose laminate display. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it, it is pretty close to each other. Let's adjust them. I'm going to increase the letter spacing by a little bit and it's quite difficult to see. Let me just zoom in and maybe we just adjust them by a little bit. Awesome. Look at that. Maybe there can be a little bit of improvement, but we're going to go with this just for an example. Okay. There's another way you can also add text by heading over to text and under text, you can see there are different types of designs that you can choose. So let's say I'm going to go with golden hour. Why not adjust them to your liking just like that. And if you want, you can change the text to aura coffee. Look at that. Mm, that is so cool. So now once you're done, you can head over to file, click download, save as PNG. And once you're done, there you go. However, as you can see, there's also a white background. To remove the white background, you need Canva Premium right here. Under the download section, you can see transparent background right here. However, when you click on it, you have to use Canva Pro. But because I understand that not many people have Canva Pro, you can always use this method. Once you open the image on your desktop, click edit, you can remove background right here. And once background is detected, click remove save as copy and there you go 
Now, this may not be the best method to remove background because as you can see, there's a lot of, what do you say, residue. So the best way to get the best result is to avoid designs that are very thin and small, just like this, or anything that is glow. For example, like this text right here, because glow text makes it difficult to remove the background and it will leave behind some white residue a white background. Now, yes, you may use other software like Adobe Illustrator. Even in your desktop software right here, if you were to remove background, you can do it manually by clicking on brush tool and you can adjust the size of your brush tool, right? Zoom in and start removing the white residue, you know, just like that. However, it takes time, it takes effort. So it really depends on you guys. To save time, you can use Canva Pro if you have Canva Pro. If not, you have to do it the manual way but anyhow, you will still get the same result. And I hope today's video is helpful, informative. And if you like today's video, don't forget to leave a like and of course, subscribe to Skillsofter to learn more software skills just like this. And that is how you make your very own coffee t-shirt design using ChatGPT and Canva.